Lattice Semiconductor Investor Day. Wow. I mean, uh, I just love what they're doing there. I mean, if you look at the stock price, it's it's pretty uh, ridiculous. I don't know if it's 4 or 5x uh, appreciation since uh, uh, new CEO Jim uh, got in there. Uh, he's done, Jim Anderson has done a great job at the company. And, you know, the reason that uh, I'll, I'll reinforce, uh, I like, I'm an industry analyst, but I show up to investor days is because it's the source of truth for all companies. Uh, you cannot stretch the truth too far, or you might get sued by your investors. You might get investigated by the SEC. Generally bad things you don't want to happen. Um, uh, Jim uh, took a uh, an opportunity to do a victory lap on Say Do. Uh, I covered this in 2019, and, and Jim had a list of 10 things they said they were going to do in 2019, and then they had a list of what they did uh, with all blue check marks. That is classic Jim Anderson, uh, and, and they're doing great. Uh, uh, most interestingly, uh, the company brought out a, a essentially expanded their target their uh, their SAM. So not only is it a target market, but it's an addressable, a serviceable market uh, of the mid range FPGA uh, with a new product uh, called Avant. Now today, the mid range uh, it's about a third, a third, a third in the FPGA market. Uh, uh, entry level, mid range, uh, and uh, high performance. And essentially, that's measured in terms of lots, uh, which is the compute function for FPGAs. Uh, and brand new, they've been working on it for years. They have customers for it. This is squarely in the backyard of Intel and Xilinx. Uh, and uh, they enter this market uh, with a, a unique way to do it. So Intel and Xilinx are all focused on the premium FPGA market and SOCs with premium FPGAs. So they kind of, they really aren't innovating much at the mid range uh, and, 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 the, and the entry level. Uh, and not only are the designs older, but they're using older manufacturing uh, for that as well. So you've got Lattice who comes in, uh, new designs and new manufacturing. Uh, I feel like uh, they're gonna go and do really, really well. Now, the design cycle is, is, is long, right? When you look at, at the markets uh, they, they, they address, I mean, you know, it's a year, year and a half uh, 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 design cycle. Uh, finally, um, from a product point of view, uh, I, I'm not leaving any oxygen in the room, Daniel, I'm sorry, uh, were some, uh, uh, so, some new packs. Uh, one of those were for 5G ORAN, and the other one was for industrial uh, robotics. And uh, FPGAs uh, are good. They're low power, but on the uh, on the other side, they're 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 harder than let's say a CPU to program. They're easier than an ASIC, but they're harder than uh, let's say a CPU. So <clears throat> these uh, packs essentially allow them to um, uh, uh, shorten the time uh, to market, which is a great thing. Uh, finally, and here is the uh, here was the mic drop. Uh, the financial updates, uh, they're raising their gross margin target to 65%, maintaining OPEX at 35%, raising operating profit for uh, at 30% uh, and above. So listen, it's hard for me to find you know huge faults here. I think um, I think the biggest challenge that Lattice is going to have is is being a market maker. As opposed to, now I think they've got the market taker thing down, but the market maker uh, going after uh, and converting people from uh, ASICs or um, controllers to FPGAs is probably their biggest challenge. Yeah, anything else you want to throw in there? Just in case I wanted to say something. Um, Sorry, in, in I, all of our I years own, of, yeah, of, of plotting really together, that may have been the most... Uh, oxygen I've ever seen sucked out of a single topic before pass passing over the buck. Look, Lattice is an exciting company. I put them in my market watch piece last week uh, as part of four semiconductor companies that I think people need to put their eyes on that aren't named Intel, NVIDIA, uh, AMD, and Qualcomm, just as a for instance. And I did it for all the reasons that Pat mentioned. It was a pre-investor day, but I had a pretty good sense that we were going to see some impressive data come out of the company uh, and the entire leadership team. Jim's a disciplined leader. It's very clear. 
if you look at some of the, the foundational in terms of things like uh, cash creation, the company has, has really improved. And it and, and perhaps the thing I like the most is, and we take a line out of Pat Gelsinger's say do, but yeah. that he could legitimately get in front of the uh, financial analysts and say, everything I said we would do, we've done, we've executed. And, and by the way, that is maybe the most important thing for building a steady foundational company and being investable. Um, you know, the company's only got 6 billion in TAM and that's by the way, doubled. So when we're talking Intel, we're talking 300 billion in TAM. We're talking about a company that's disciplined, that's focused, that's not going to be doing comparable revenues anytime soon, but that has identified opportunities in the market and is executing very efficiently and effectively in those particular markets and sees opportunities to ex coexist with those big semi names. And I see a lot more success in the future for Lattice.